Now I've got a 1998 Olds Intrigue 3800. We're going to use the smoke tester to locate vacuum leaks fast. Well, let's talk about what kind of prep we got to do to get this smoke machine to roll some smoke through this intake manifold and check for vacuum leaks. We're looking for drivability problems. We want to check for vacuum leaks. Let's go for it. Now, the first thing I want to do is block off where any air could get out of the intake system. We know where it can get in, but where can it get out? It can get out right here through the uh, feed from the air cleaner to the throttle body. I'm going to take that off of the air cleaner and it's a little plastic insert. It comes with machine and the kits. Crank that down. I love the hose clamps with little levers on here. Little handle. Handy! Alright, so that should block that off. Now I'm going to put some smoke in. If I don't have any leaks, won't see any smoke come out. Now I think I'll grab a hose at the back of the intake manifold where we have our vacuum storage tank. Pop that off. Get a piece of rubber vacuum hose, 3 16 go on the end of our little cone from our smoke machine, and there's where we're going to insert smoke, at the back of that intake. So now, even if there is a little bit of an opening with the min air rate, the throttle plate open a tiny bit, we should still block the smoke from getting out here, and then we look for anywhere else the smoke might get out. Go ahead and get our machine ready to go, hit the button, and let's see where the smoke comes out. Let's go ahead and get our light ready too. Give it a few seconds or maybe even a couple of minutes. We see some smoke right now. Right off the bat, I'm seeing smoke come out. Hey, and no wonder here, somebody has done a little bit of a little jury rigging of this vacuum hose connection at the side of the throttle body. That's definitely got to be fixed before this car leaves the bay. And we've got some other sources of leaks. Looks like, uh, hmm, I see a little bit of smoke. Yeah, there's an oil leak. Now, how do we get smoke in the oil? I'm putting smoke in the intake manifold. Well, what's in common between the crankcase and the intake manifold? PCV system. So we're even rolling smoke to the PCV system, and it's coming out my oil filler cap. And if we take a look underneath that, oh, well, no wonder. Oh, this car needs some work. We need a new valve cover, and we need a new vacuum fitting for these two hoses off the side of the throttle body. So let's go ahead and fix this and we'll see if she smokes anywhere else. In fact, before we send somebody off to get the parts, I'm just going to pop that little jury rig mess of a hose fitting off, put my thumb over it, temporary fix, and see if it leaks anywhere else. It's just making the smoke go out the oil filler neck all the more from that broken valve cover. Well, I've got a technical tip here. We could just fix one leak or two leaks at a time. We know we're leaking here at this intake manifold fitting, and we know we're leaking a little bit of uh, crankcase vapors also. Need a new valve cover. But before I send the parts chaser after a couple of parts, maybe we need more parts. Let's get a complete list first. Let's plug up those leaks and see if we leak out any other places that may have been masked because of larger leaks. So just take some simple plastic. I don't care what you use, just some kind of rubbery plastic Take some small pieces, stick it down in the hole where you know the leaks are. Here's a small piece for our manifold fitting. And let's roll the smoke again. We're going we're to buy a part here and a part here. Let's see if we need anything else. Smoke's rolling. Let's get the bright light on. And lo and behold, we've got other leaks, it looks like. Oh, man, I've got a leak. Something serious here. Oh, I've got a leak intake manifold leaking straight out from an intake manifold gasket, and whoo, I've got an injector. Looks like number two injector is leaking around the O-rings, and I have a little bit of a leak. Oh, and I got a split right here too. It was holding when the other leaks were leaking, but now it's leaking a little bit around the split. So we definitely need a boot, injector O-rings, intake manifold gasket, a fitting on the intake, and a new valve cover. We've got some work to do here. We got a good sale too. Well, we had a lot of leaks. And in fact, it became difficult to get the camera in there to see the injector leak. So that's where the Ultra, Ultra Trace UV dye comes in. So let's go ahead and put on our glasses, get our black light out, and look at some of that Ultra Trace UV dye. 
As you can see here, the injector, right where it enters the bottom of the lower intake, is leaking vacuum. We've got a vacuum leak there, and you can also see what we were seeing really well with the smoke, and that is the intake upper plenum leaking air as well. This thing's going to be running lean and compensating a lot in fuel trim. We just nailed this thing. The little black light, the right glasses, you can see a lot of things that maybe the normal eye can't. And that's the beauty of the dye, the dye that comes out with the smoke. Even if it was like a, a leak on the lower intake, when you take things apart, then you see the fingerprints, the evidence, if you will, of a leak. Makes you feel like, hey, I nailed this thing, and I know what gaskets to buy, what procedures to do. Now, the way we used to do things, we used to use gum out or some product like that to spray and listen for the engine to change speeds. Now, we can do it with smoke. We can actually see the leaks. Gum out might have caught that intake manifold gasket. We might have missed the O-ring or vice versa. So you take the upper plenum off, you fix one thing, you don't notice the other, you put it back together only to find out you've got to do some work over again. This re reduces your comebacks and fixes the car right the first time. Again, really quick diagnostics, really impressive results. A good write-up, a good fix, customer's going to be happy, you're going to be happy.